Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, produce some uh, some pretty simple uh, statistics, some summary statistics. Um, here we have a uh, employee uh, detail file, and it's basically just a bunch of different attributes uh, regarding uh, uh, different employees as far as their name, their job title, department, uh, their salary, their gender, and a couple other things. Uh, so we're going to do this two different ways, and we're going to pretty much get the, the same, same results. Uh, first thing we're going to do is use the uh, summary st uh, statistics. Uh, option under describe and after that we'll use the summary statistics wizard to do the same thing so if we go up here we can go to a describe the drop down bar and then uh, click summary statistics <clears throat> so what we want to do here is uh, for this exercise uh, look at the salary we're going to use the salaries or analysis variable and then we kind of want to break it up uh, by the department as well as the job title of in those departments and then we kind of want to group everything uh, by gender. So essentially we'll have two different tables, one for male and one for female with salary being the analysis variable and uh, the salary of each employee broken up by uh, the department they're in and their job title that they have. <clears throat> okay, so first thing we we'll do is uh, use salary and move that over to the analysis variable. And so we want to classify this by department and job title. So we take department, move it over to classification variables, and we do the same thing with job title. Okay, we want to group this by uh, the employee gender. So we'll have two different tables, one for male, one for female. And so we'll use all the basic statistics, the mean, standard deviation, minimum, uh, maximum, number of observations. These are the default stats um, whenever you use the summary statistics. We also want to add the median. So we go to percentiles and click on median. And if we want to add plots, we can go ahead and add a histogram or a box and whisker. Uh, but be aware that if you have larger data sets, it will take quite a, uh, quite a while to do all this in one uh, one uh, sitting, if you will. And so we're also going to output uh, this uh, data set. So we'll just leave the default name. So we click Run. OK, so as you see, our first table is in regards to uh, females. So we have everything broken down. We have our departments, accounts, accounts management, and administration. And within those departments, we have the job titles. And then from there, we have the mean uh, salary, standard deviation, uh, the minimum salary, the maximum salary, uh, how many observations, so how many employees are actually in an accountant one in accounts, and then the medium, uh, median salary. And then we come all the way down, and we have the exact same thing for, for males. We have the department job title, uh, how many occurrences that happen in those job titles, uh, the mean salary, standard deviation, all the regular statistics. So now we'll do the same thing with the uh, summary statistics wizard. So we can go back to our original data set. <clears throat> we go back to the describe drop down menu, and this time we do summary statistics wizard. So we click next. Okay, so here we have pretty much the same options uh, that we had in the other. Uh, menu. Uh, so now we have uh, summary statistics right here, and then our classification variables, and our group variable. Pretty pretty basic. Uh, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. Salary is our analysis variable. I want to classify salary by the department and job title. So we just drag those over here to classification variables. Oops. And once again, we want to group these by employee gender. And we click next. So up here it shows us the uh, default statistics, the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, number of observations. Uh, we want to go ahead and add uh, the median to that. So we click Edit, and we click on the Percentile tab, and then we click Median. Click OK. So now we have the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, number of observations, and the median. And we'll go ahead and output this data set. So we click this Save Statistics to Data Set box. And you can change the name by clicking Browse, but we'll just keep it as the default name for now. Click Next. Here we could change the the title of 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 the uh, table to whatever we want. So um, change this to employee stats. Pretty uh, basic name. Then click finish, and we pretty much we have the same output. Uh, here's the name that I changed it to employee stats. Um, so for this is for the table for females, and once again we have it broken up by department, their job title, how many observations, and then all of our statistics. We come down and we have the exact same thing for, for the males. 
So it's pretty much a, just a simple way to get uh, some general statistics uh, from your data set just using two different two different methods.